hi everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we are creating this gorgeous decorative piece on a rather plain shift dress in the previous video i showed you how i cut out this piece directly on fabric and seal it together you can refer to that video if you haven't watched it i'll drop the link above here we're going to decorate this beautiful piece and make it look more classy making use of a sticker some decorative stitches on my domestic sewing machine and fabric here is the sticker i'll be using for mine it actually comes in different prints i mean different faces you can check your fabric stores and sewing material stores for this I got mine from an online vendor in Nigeria at 2500 Naira, which is slightly less than $4. Here is my already sewn shift dress. You can actually make this on a yet to be sewn front piece. So I folded mine into two like so, so that I can get a crease line at the center. You can also make use of your ruler and fabric chalk to just really line across so this is because i want to place my sticker centralized on the dress so i just spread it out properly so that we don't have any fold at that center and place the sticker on it the way i wanted it to be placed in the final look like i said this sticker comes in different patterns different drawings on them and you just have to be creative and make the best use of the one you have Next, I went ahead to pin this down on my dress. So when you're pinning, make sure you're not pinning on the actual print. You're pinning on the edges of the lamination. Once you are done with this, it is time to give this a good press. You need a cover for your print. You can make use of an ironing cloth. Just make sure that it's something that won't bleach on the fabric of the dress you are creating your decoration on so i made use of this purple fabric you also need to use a steam iron or a steam press you know those bigger square shape machines that you use in stoning you can use it for this purpose as well so for this i'm making use of my steam iron and i'm just steaming and while i was doing this i was checking to be sure that um my my sticker is sticking on the dress and what i noticed was the part without the diagram doesn't stick on the cloth it's just i mean oh my <laughs> it's only just under the print that sticks to the cloth so check properly while you're doing this once that pressing step is done you go ahead pull out your pin give it some time to cool properly before you go ahead to raise the lamination so this exposes your st sticker print right on the fabric while you're doing this please do it gently be sure that you don't have any part not sticking to the fabric if there is just take a break and go and press again i didn't have that issue for for mine now this is what we have and at this stage i was tempted to just leave it like this because i really love how the entire print looked on this now i decided to create a neck and shoulder for mine some stickers already comes with like neck shoulder and even maybe some dresses and all that but this one is just head right so i use my pencil to highlight the shape of the neckline and the shoulder and i did the same thing on the other side here i am measuring just to make sure that i have um something similar on the other side you don't want this to be asymmetrical you want to work with symmetry so i then use my chalk to highlight my markings and i'm just making use of this ruler to ensure that also the height is similar on both sides so i cleaned up when i needed to redo i tried again and all of that till i was satisfied with what i had now I am done drawing out the neckline and the shoulder. Next, I'll be making use of a decorative stitch on my domestic sewing machine to create just what I drew out, okay? So, but before doing that, because I need an interfacing underneath this so that my machine doesn't struggle with 
creating on a light fabric if you do like embroidery you understand what i mean so i went ahead to attach a slightly thick fusible interfacing underneath the front piece i gave it a good press so that it sticks with the dress so it's just for the front right we are not sewing the back alongside so that done i went ahead with my domestic sewing machine to i made use of one of the decorative stitches it comes with you can make use of a zigzag stitch or any of the stitches you have as a matter of fact if you don't even have a domestic sewing machine you can make like three to four seams just to make your seam line more obvious so you can make three seams or use a twin needle to make to to stitch twice you understand that four seams right so but this is i i had one so i made use of one for mine now this is what we have right there after that process i went ahead to remove the interfacing behind because of course we don't need it there we just needed it for the stitching process i made use of my scissors i tried to tear some, some parts and yeah i see had a little left on the seams itself but after a couple of watch wash it's going to pull off completely so this is looking good honestly once again you can stop here <laughs> so i made use of this ankara fabric just to further you know add some 3d effect to this piece i already stitched the top the bottom and the sides of this and when you are choosing your ankara piece make sure that it works with the entire color scheme even when you are choosing your fabric and your sticker as well just work with the color scheme i really wanted to work with a yellow um shift dress here but i just felt like I, I i have made too many yellow things and i wanted to explore with another color so the the shift dress i made was green but then the sticker had some orange some um green some yellow in it so i i just felt this fabric will still work for it but i would advise you to make use of a very vibrant print if you're working with one so now i went ahead to draw out the line just so i can create straight gathers on the on the shift dress so as i was sewing i was creating my gathers if you already know how to create gathers i don't need to explain the process right you could also create your gather stitch i mean create the gathers on the fabric before you go ahead to sew it on the actual dress just use any of the method you're already familiar with so that done i had this and once again i was tempted to stop <laughs> but then i went ahead to add a second underneath this one and did you notice how i spread the side okay i didn't make it just straight i folded the side of the print in a way that fans out a little bit so here i'm placing the second fabric just to be sure i'm okay with the length and once that was done i lifted up the gather so i could mark the next layer of my gathers so i went ahead once again with my chalk and ruler to draw out a straight line there so that we don't have it looking bent <laughs> so having done that i then created the second layer of pleat now my gathers is done here and lastly i figured i could attach a bow at the top of the head wrap okay so i created a bow right here and i'm just going to be stitching it at the top of the head wrap on the sticker so here i am pinning down my bow after which i went ahead to tack it onto the dress Da -da. so here is our finished work of art i love this and everyone who saw this loved it as well if you'll be trying this out let me know in the comment section and when you do please tag kema freak on um, instagram so that we can share your work okay thank you so much for watching once again see you in the next video Bye bye